Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This is for trading on Wednesday, February the 20th, 2016. You're looking at an intraday chart right now of XLU. It's the um, Utilities ETF. Just wanted to, to show you just how uh, the markets have been moving. As you know, um, we trade everything here. Uh, I track futures, forex, and equities. And it doesn't matter as long as it's something that's moving. That's what I'm tracking. As you can see in this one, momentum is coming off here, and it is positively pulse waving now. You got a positive pulse wave, but because momentum is starting to come off, it's possible that the 47.19 support is in play right now. If you take a look at the intraday chart, uh, you have a negative pulse wave on the intraday chart. Just wanted to show that to you. All right, right now, if I could make it so that you could see it, it's kind of hard to see here, but it's coming off of the trend line support right now. And it's kind of hard to blow it up where you could see that. So let's see if I can get a better view for you here. Alright, it's not cooperating, but that's okay. But at any rate, we got a negative pulse wave in, in effect uh, on this one. So I think there's um, there's also going to be resistance now around the 53 handle. But you're not going to see it reflected in the chart because it's not acting correctly right now. But nevertheless, let's move on. All right, the stock indexes are rallying right now. Uh, the Dow is at 46 points, getting above that 18,000 mark. Hasn't been able to do that in a while, but here we are here. It's uh, going to try to take out the 18,018 here. All right. One could argue that we kind of got a, like a head and shoulders thing forming here, but not really because it's pulse waving now. And right now, strong support is at 17,893. Alright, uh, and this this is what you want to see hold. 17,893. If 17,893 is taken out, then that gets us to the intraday support at 17,776. That's where the support is here. And if that doesn't hold, then we get back into the Kumo cloud. So we need to see how strong this is going to be because right now it's still a head test. Uh, it has to get back up to the 18,200 and something level. If it cannot do that, then then this is going to really get whacked and that's what we're looking for right now. All right, taking a look now at the precious metals. Gold is just standing still right now while the silver is showing signs of being the strongest. On an intraday chart, we're getting up into the overbought section here. All right, we have strong support at 1250 on the gold, just as I indicated in uh, the prior video. So it's holding right now, but if 1250 is taken out, then that's going to get us back to the 1243.20 intraday support. And if that doesn't hold, then we are in free fall here. Here's where we were, here's where we are now trying to test these highs up here. It really needs to get back above the 1260 handle on a close to really lock in some bullish momentum. All right, taking a look here at the silver now. Silver is nice and bullish. Right now, intraday supports at uh, 1682. As long as it can stay above that, it should be nice and strong. And trend line support is at 1622. All right, so that's what we're looking at right now. Momentum is coming off though now on the silver. All right, it's holding above the $17 uh, ha uh, handle, but it's coming off from the momentum here. It's dropping. So we need to see if that 1682 is going to stay intact or not, or are we going to get a, um, a pullback here? So well, it remains to be seen. 
I will say this though, some some trickery shenanigans did take place yesterday in the mini silver contract. Right um right around I'm gonna say like five fifteen, five twenty Eastern Standard Time, the market just like dropped several points and then came right back to where the big silver futures contract closed at at the uh, 1695 handle so it dropped from 1695 to 1681 in a split second and came right back to 1695 so I thought that was an interesting turn of events the big contract didn't do that but the mini contract did and that was interesting supposedly 12 contracts came in and that was enough to move that market like that um, I know that the minis are for the most part thinly traded uh, as opposed to their larger contract counterparts but I just thought that that was interesting and um, by the way that's where my stop was too so it came down triggered my stop and then went right back and this reminded me of that article that came out about the Deutsche Bank admitting to the gold and silver manipulation so if you ask me the manipulation is still alive and well just because they admitted it didn't mean that they stopped it so I just thought that was interesting. But at, the, at any rate, that's where we are. I just wanted to throw that out there for you. I thought that was rather fun and interesting. And when I say stop that, I do mean stop that with profit. Uh, I was long the silver as per the pulse waves, price triggers that you see that I posted uh, on, on the website. All right, so let's go to QM. Let's check out this crude oil. All right, crude oil right now. Have strong support at 41.10. A trade below 41.10 would bring you to the trend line support of 40.67. And a drop below that puts you into the Kumo cloud of death. And we'll see prices gravitate down toward the bottom of the Kumo cloud at $39 handle. So that's something to watch for in the crude oil as we are getting near this prior top up here. If we can close here today, that will really boister a lot of uh, a lot of buying activity into this and put it closer to that $44 resistance that I showed you in the prior video. So that should be interesting to watch as well. And ahead of tomorrow's ECB, let's take a look at the Euro. All right, here's the Euro. As you can see, it is coming off. It is now negatively pulse wave and that's a negative pulse wave it just triggered just broke its uh, support at 113.67 and here we are sitting at 113.39 so you're already locking in crazy pips if you took that uh, trade signal and there there you are here uh, most people don't um, don't watch it like that so they probably missed it but there it is if you are looking to get into that euro ahead of the ECB uh, tomorrow there you have it now flip side of that is the US dollar uh, we did get um, get stopped out of the dollar we tightened up those stops this morning from the prior day shorts so uh, we got out at the 9413 which was this pulse wave uh, long trigger right here uh, we were not interested in buying the dollar at this point. We're only looking to uh, take shorts for right here. So we're waiting for the next setup. And currently, it's trying to build a support base around the 93.89 level. So we'll watch that. But a break below that right now would get us back uh, into a short position in the dollar. I don't think the dollar's finished going down yet. I see it's still um, that $92 handle was still in play in my book unless we get back above this trend line right here then we get back into the 9521 which becomes in play at that point you don't see that here on this chart though just yet all right and let's take a look at a few more equities let's take a look at apple all right who's taking a bite of the apple right now the apple is in trouble because it's already in a negative pulse wave down channel right here it started pulse waving at 111.28 and currently setting at 106.23. Uh, 
already several dollars into the trade and it's already setting up now for the retracement from this prior move and your current um, support building is at 106.23 that's where it's that's where it is right now 106.23 um, so it's going to take probably later until probably getting close and I'll give it another day and see see what kind of a uh, bounce it can it can get but we're going to be watching for the next leg down because it could be pretty devastating so right now this trade is already pretty much done the first trade is done let me pull up the uh, longer term chart here you are coming off alright that was a, a nice quick trade there still holding holding up right now at 4871 excuse me I mean 9871 9871 right now is long term uh, trend line support you don't want to see that taken out this week if it's taken out this week then it's going to accelerate this market uh, in, in some incredible downward momentum uh, but right now it is trying to stay above par uh, of 100 if it breaks 100 that's it so 9871 if you're looking to get involved on the short side of this uh, on a longer term basis that's your that's your trigger there a breach of 9871 going back on the intraday right now it's trying to build something right now it's not ready we need to, to give it another bar here um, and see where the support starts to build that but right now it's looking like um, it's trying to retrace off this this prior move this prior leg of the move here we need to give it time to see uh, what what develops but right now it, it has um, it has stopped the downward pulse wave it stopped at 107.82 all right anyone trying to play the bounce will be looking to get involved at 107.82 and right now you're a few cents in the trade the current trade right now is at 107.92 so you're about 10 cents in the trade now so you could actually if you wanted to to participate you could participate right now at a, at a small position get you can get along the apple now with your stop at 106.23 alright because that's where the support currently is trying to build at alright so that's an intraday play on the Apple for those looking to get involved who think that this is going to try to test the upper part of this resistance at the 10906. 10906 is your your initial target that you're looking uh, to pick up here. So you're looking to pick up two bucks. All right. So that will lead us now to let's see how Netflix is doing after it got really hurt on. Uh, as a result of those earnings alright here we are with the Netflix alright as you can see here we had a nice spike low here of 92.38 currently it's at 95.61 trying to uh, trying to you know regain some of those losses trying to recuperate um, but it is still right now uh, negatively post waving right now you got a negative post wave negative downtrend channel um, it does not recuperate until 10307 your upside resistance right now is 10307 a break of that would put you back in play to get back up to 110 but right now this market is still a short and that's about it there's nothing else going on here except for maybe some profit taking for those who are short uh, you could wait for the next short signal right now or you could try to um, ride some of the retracement if it can get there but right now as of right now um, there's nothing here okay and until it can get back above 10307 as of right now all right and let's see there's one other one I wanted to pull up I gotta remember what it is. Uh, let's see. Give me a second. I'll find it. Ah, here it is. All right. Let's pull up. Uh, okay, Costco. Here we go. Costco. All right. 
Costco is in jeopardy of a negative pulse wave at 152.23. All right. So if a break of 152.23, we're looking at picking up uh, at least, looks like an initial $4. That's the initial four dollars is the initial. I think it's going to accelerate beyond that if it starts to pulse wave down again, and we're looking at a possible uh, ten dollar move on this one. But the first watch is at four dollars. That's the first profit target uh, from there. So just wanted to put that out there, and that's on Costco ticker C O S T. All right, on an intraday basis, see we're below the Kumo cloud, and you know, running out of steam here. Here's an air pocket from this trend line to the bottom of the Kumo cloud, which is normal. Should slope down as you come up like this. You tend to slope down and then come down. Almost, it's almost like a head and shoulders type of a thing, but it's like a it's, it's like a uh, a moon half moon. That's what it does. So that's what you do. You come here. You go like this. You flat. You flat top, and then you come down like that. So that's what we're looking at uh, in, in the Costco. And that's about it. So this, is, this has been our uh, intraday snapshot. And that's what we're looking at for today. And like I said, the weekly uh, pulse wave price triggers are already on the blog. Uh, if you go to the website, that's at um, pulsescan.blogspot.com. And you'll see that there. Also, um, all the links and everything at the bottom of this uh, description of the video, as in all the videos. So remember, bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Remember to take what you can and give nothing back.